this video, we'll go through several examples of evaluating expressions. The first step in evaluating expressions is to replace your variable with empty parentheses. You'll take out the x and replace it with empty parentheses, or take out the a and replace it with empty parentheses. If there are exponents on your variables, you got to make sure that you put those exponents on the outside of the parentheses. So for example, if you start with x squared, you remove the x, replace it with empty parentheses. It's empty parentheses squared. You do not put that square inside the parentheses. Once you've replaced your variables with empty parentheses, you just need to plug the value of each variable into the parentheses and then calculate. Let's try a few examples. I want to evaluate the expression x minus y minus z when x has the value negative 4, y has the value negative 5, and z has the value 2. So my expression is x minus y minus z. I will take out the x and replace it with empty parentheses, minus take out the y, replace it with empty parentheses, minus, take out the z, replace it with empty parentheses. Inside the first set of parentheses, I need to place the value of x, so that is negative 4. Inside the second set of parentheses, I put the value of y, which is negative 5. And inside the third set of parentheses, I put the value of z, 2. Now I have an expression that I just need to calculate, negative 4 minus negative 5 minus 2. That's the same as negative 4 plus 5 minus 2, which is negative 1. In the second example, I want to evaluate the expression negative x squared minus y plus z squared. My first step is to remove each variable and replace it with empty parentheses. I'm careful to put the exponents on the outside of the parentheses. So the first, exp the first term, I have negative parentheses squared minus parentheses plus parentheses squared. In the first set of parentheses, I need to put the value of x, which is negative 8. In the second set of parentheses, I need to put the value of y, which is negative 4. And in the third set of parentheses, I need to put the value of z, which is negative 5. Now I need to calculate the answer. In the first term here, I have negative, negative 8 squared. The quantity negative 8 squared means negative 8 times negative 8. There's still a negative out front, but negative 8 squared is positive 64. So this negative has been brought down but the quantity negative 8 squared is 64. Negative, negative here, subtracting a negative becomes adding 4. Again, I'm going to bring down my plus sign on the third term, and the quantity negative 5 squared is negative 5 times negative 5, so it's positive 25. So I need to calculate the expression negative 64 plus 4 plus 25, and that comes to negative 35. The third example, I want to evaluate the expression a plus b, all divided by the quantity c minus d. When dealing with expressions that have uh, 
algebraic expressions in the numerator as well as algebraic expressions in the denominator, we need to be careful to calculate the entire numerator, calculate the entire denominator, and then do our division as the very final step. I need to divide the entire numerator by the entire denominator. First, I remove A, and I remove B, and I remove C and D, and replace them with empty parentheses. I put the value of each variable inside the parentheses. And now I will evaluate the numerator to get 10, and I'll evaluate the denominator to get negative 2, and in the final step, I will divide the entire numerator by the entire denominator to get an answer of negative 5.